Welcome everyone, it's Gracier Guy, and react Gracier as always. This is my mono blue deck to go with the... I did the mono red deck because it was like the Soviet theme, and I was like, I'm going to make the mono blue deck like the Western powers, like NATO and America and freedom, and this is the 1950s, and rah, we're fighting each other, woo! So that's what this theme deck is part. And no better way to get jets in the air, to get air power, than Taller and Sky Summoner in a mono blue version. So... We have a 4-drop Legendary Creature Merfolk Wizard from M13. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, create a 2-2 two -two blue Drake token with uh, flying. So it's a 2-2, two -two, it's Drake's it's flying. Let's move over to the lands. So we got Des uh, Desert of the Mindful. Yeah, you can cycle it. Holomar Depths. There's a battlefield tap. When there's a battlefield, you may look at the top three cards of your library, then put them back in any order. That makes blue mana. A bunch of islands. And if... <laughs> so... Some of these are M19 islands, and some of these are uh, Shards of Alara islands, but they all have the same art, <laughs> so there's that. And we got Lonely Sandbar, because Lonely Sandbar just looks just a Lonely Sandbar. Mm. Myriad Landscape, Reliquary Tower, and Temple of the Falls Gods, so that's where our lands are. 36 in total, don't worry about it. You can do the math, or you can just click the link below. We got Brainstorm. It's an instance. It's going to trigger Tolerant. It's good. High Tide. It's an instance. It's going to trigger Tolerant. Give it more land. Good. Mystical Tutor. Once again, I'm not I'm not going to constantly say it, but we're going to get Drakes. And we're going to go look for an instance of Sorcery and put it in our hands. Or no, put it on top of our library. We got some Opts. We got the... Uh, is, no, this is... Is this the Ixalan Opt? Or is this... Yes. Okay. For a moment, I thought it was like the Ixalan special set that they did. But I don't know if Opt was in there. And I also don't think they released that on... Mitko, either way. Okay, so we got Opt. Ponder. I like this Ponder. It looks kind of cool. Pongdify. So, basically, I'm using the instances of sorceries as a cheap way to make Drake tokens. And also to, like, card draw and shuffle and try to find specific cards. So, that's what we're trying to do. Uh, Pongify, single target removal, good to go. Preordain, scry, draw a card, good to go. Scry 2, draw a card. Rapid Hybridization for some more removal. Serum Visions in Foil, draw a card, scry two. I like how it's draw a card and then scry two. Not scry two and then draw a card, which means something. Swan Song, you know, good uh, removal and some instance. Soul Ring, because Soul Ring. Anticipate, look at the top three cards of your library, put one of them in your hand and the rest in the bottom of your library in any order. So, like, mm, I don't need that card. Bottom. Arcane Denial, counter target spell. Its controller may draw up to two cards at the beginning of the next uh, turn's upkeep. You draw a card at the beginning of the next turn's upkeep. So you draw one, they draw two. What do you got? Baral, Chief of Compliance, because Baral is just gross. It's just it's gross. So I'm not a huge fan of Baral. I mean, I don't like playing against Baral. Blink of an, a blink of an eye, because it's just creepy. It's got a bunch of eyes. Nah, it does stuff. It's an instance. Don't worry about it. Cyclonic Rift, because it's blue. Disdainful Stroke, counter target spell with converted mana cost four or greater. It's an instance. It's a counter spell. Let's put it in there. Let's see what we got. Impulse, look at the top four cards of your library, put one of them into your hand, and the rest in the bottom of your library in any order. Into the roll, return target, non-land permanent to its owner's hand. If this spell is kicked, you get to draw a card. Roll Tide, ro uh, it's, it's, ro it's Royal Tide, Royal Tide, tie yourself down. So, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I said Roll Tide. <laughs> uh, if, you don't, if you're not aware, it's like a college football thing. I forget what college it is, but... Either way, I'm not a huge into sports, but I know Roll Tide. Merchant Scroll, it's good to go. Some card draw. Negate, not card draw, it's negate, so it's counter it's counter magic? Yeah, counter, counter magic, go with it. Reality Shift, Exile, I like exiling things. Telling Time, look at the top three cards of your library, put one of those cards into your hands, one on top of your library, and one in the bottom of your library. So, think twice, draw a card with flashback. Great books are meant to be read, then read again backwards or upside down. I like this. That guy's just really weird. <laughs> Counter spell, because it's blue. Muddle the mixture. Counter target instant sorcery spell transmute. Isochron scepter. Uh, imprint under spell field exile an instance card with converted mana cost two or less from your hands. You may copy the exile card. If you do, you may cast the copy without paying its mana cost. So. And uh, basically, you could just put like counter spell on it or something, and you could just constantly for two tap to counter things. So that's good. Uh, Sapphire Medallion, because Sapphire Medallion is cool. 
Sky Diamond, also cool. I went with 7th Inch Dart on that one. Thought Vessel, no maximum hand size. So this deck is really kind of like counter magic. A lot of counter magic. A lot of um, sub subterfuge. You know, a lot of uh, uh, spy work going on. Call the Mine. Bring stuff back to my hand. Ristic Study. When an opponent... So, Ristic Study. I, mean, I don't have to talk about Ristic Study. Supreme Will. Supreme Will is pretty cool. So, you, so counter target spell lets control pace 3. Look at the top four cards of your library, put one of them into your hand, and the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. So, it's pretty good. Trail of Evidence. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, investigate. So, I definitely want to throw this down as early as possible. Um, unwind. Uh, counter target, non-creature spell, untap up to three lands. So, basically, it's a free counter spell, pretty much. Capsize for any target permanent is owner's hands with buyback. Uh, you may pay an additional three when you cast a spell. If you do, put this card into your hand as a result. So, I like the fact that this card tells you what buyback does. Because sometimes I forget what buyback does and I don't pay its cost. Disallow. Disallow is like, nah. I don't want to do that. Dissipate. Counter target spell. If the spell is countered this way, exile instead of putting it in Sonya's graveyard. Good to go. Dissolve. Counter target spell, scry one. Good to go. Void shatter. Counter target spell. If the spell is countered this way, exile instead of putting it in the graveyard. So void shatter is pretty good. Wizard's retort. It's pretty good if you have a wizard out, which. Tolerant is a wizard, so works. Factor Fiction. Reveal top five cards in your library, and opponent separates those cards into two piles. Uh, put one pile in your hand and the others into your graveyard. So, yeah, it's basically just make a drake, pretty much. Jace's Sanctum. Instant Sorcery Spells you cast cost one less to cast. When you cast an Instant Sorcery Spell, scry one. Good to go. Biden of Thassa. Oh, man, when I bought Biden of Thassa, I bought like way too many copies of it. So I have like five copies of Biden of Thassa on my Mythgo account. It's dumb. Uh, whenever a creature control does combat damage to a player, you may draw a card. And then you pay to tap target uh, creature your opponent controls to attack the turn table. So you can like force them to attack. And they don't have to attack you. You can just force them to attack. Uh, it's really good if you're trying to, it's like, hey, I'll make him attack uh, if you block him or whatever. It's uh, Most of the time they're going to block, they're going to attack you though. Uh, counter target spell, draw a card, dismiss. Insidious Will from Kaladesh. You can choose one to counter target spell. You may choose new targets for a target spell or tar copy target instant source spell. You may choose new targets. So so you can copy it or you can redirect it or you can counter it. So you got a bunch of different options. Rewinds, it's pretty much, it's like a unwind, but you know, for more. Rite of Replication, uh, create a token that's a copy of target creature. If the spell is kick, create five. So it's pretty good. Primal amulets. It's sorcery spells you cast cost one less to cast. When you cast an instant sorcery spell, put a counter on primal amulet. When you have four more charge counters, you may remove the coast counters to transform it. Add one random of any color when it's basically forks. So you tap fork. Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, Dawson of Perfection, Insect Horror, which flying when you cast a instant or, or sorcery spell, create a wizard. Uh, if you control three or more wizards, at any point, at any point in time, you can uh, transform it, or well, you have to transform it. I think, yeah. Then, then, okay. So, so the way the trigger works is whenever you cast an in source sorcery spell, you create a wizard. Then, if you control three or more wizards, so you have to cast a spell. It's convoluted. Anyways, flying wizards you control get plus two plus one and have flying. Whenever you cast an in source sorcery spell, you create another wizard. So it's pretty good. Final iteration. Metallurgic summoning. See if it would work. Here we go. Metallurg Metallurg uh, metallurgic summonings from a Kaladesh. That thing always looks like a spider to me. Uh, whenever you cast instant sorcery spell, create an XX colorless where X is spells converted mana cost. The exile returned all instant sorcery card graveyard hands. So, yeah. I'm not going to read the whole card. Rise from the Tides. Make some Zambis. Gu uh, was it? Yeah, Guile. Elemental incarnation. Can't be blocked. Just got about three more creatures. If a spell or ability you control would counter a spell, instead exile that spell, and you may play that card without paying its mana cost. So it's like, counter exile mine, take it, play it. And then when Gal's been in your graveyard, from anywhere, shuffle into its owner's library. So Gal's pretty good. Cade Sun, because it's a mono deck. Uh, Nezzle Hall, Primal Tide, can't be countered. You have no max man size. Whenever an opponent casts a non-creature uh, non spell, draw a card. Discard three cards, exile it, return to battlefield, tap under its owner control at the beginning of the next end step. So probably won't use that part, but definitely other parts. Scourge of the Fleets. It's nom 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 nom. As well, returned return each creature your opponent controls, your opponent's control with toughness extra less to its owner's hand, where X is the number of islands you control. So it's like I will return all your islands. Ah. Day of the Dragon. 
Now, you might find Jagged Dragon to be a really odd inclusion in here. I, however, do not. Because I'm like, man, I got all these 2-2 drakes. I want my 2-2 drakes to be 5-5 five, five red dragons. So there's Battlefield. Exit all my creatures that I control. Create that many red dragons. And then if this ever leaves the battlefield, sacrifice all those dragons you control. Then return the exile cards to Battlefield under control. Now, big problem. As you probably think, if I have 10 drakes out, and then I play Day of Dragons, and they become 10 dragons, which is terrifying. If I lose Day of Dragons, <laughs> I lose all my creatures. So that's the downside. If I didn't have non-token creatures. We got Treasure Cruise, because Treasure Cruise allows us to delve and allows us to um, draw three cards. Treasure Cruise is good. So I'm, I'm probably just going to use this for the... I'm probably not going to delve very often, uh, unless it's like a creature that I can't bring back. Dig through time. Uh, put the top seven cards in the library, or look at them. Put two of them in your hand and the rest at the bottom. Storm Tile Leviathan, because Storm Tile Leviathan is cool. I like him. And he basically, he's just, I just like Storm Tile Leviathan. He's good. Curse of the Swine. Uh, XL X Tart. It's basically, it's, it's multiple target removal, but single target removal. Kind of, sort of, maybe not really. But either way. Turns a bunch of stuff into boars. Good to go. Pull from tomorrow. Draw X cards and discard a card. So it's like, draw 20 cards. Discard one card. Blue Sun Zenith, draw lots of cards. Shuffle this. Boom. Done. So that's our Tolerant deck. Let's uh let's see if we can make a bunch of drakes. And uh counter a bunch of stuff and really piss off everyone. <laughs> uh I I'm gonna tell you right now, I probably will not win with this deck on Midgo. But you know, let's see how it all works out. Let's get into the multiplayer game. See y'all around. Have a great day.